Hey everyone, Tech Steve here, and a lot of you guys have 60 hertz televisions or gaming monitors, and you want to be experienced at 120 hertz. Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys this E Van Lack. So I came across this just uh, surfing the web, and what this will do is it tricks your gaming console into thinking it's that is connected to a 120 hertz source. Then it unlocks those options so you can use it. So. With that being said, I will tell you that this video is about the Xbox. However, I am working on one for the PlayStation. I'm just doing a few last tests. By using this adapter, you lose HDR capabilities, HDCP copyright protection, and I haven't had a chance to check it on VRR, but it's a good chance that you will lose your variable refresh rate. But this is all fun and games. It sells for about $22, so why not try it if it's something that you guys wanna do? With that being said, let's uh, jump right into the video. So here we have the emulator. As you can see, it's not really much to it. It has a input and a output, and you basically just plug in a HDMI cable to get it up and running. And to do this demonstration today, I'm just gonna use an Xbox One S and a HDMI 2.0 cable to make everything work. For the first example, I'm just gonna take the Xbox and plug it directly into the television, and then I'll show you guys the options that you get and the gaming console so you can see what I'm talking about. So the first thing I'll show you guys is the resolution settings without the adapter attached. So right here we have 4K, I can go all the way down to 720p. If I go over here to 4K TV details and press on it, you can see I have all the options for 60 Hertz, 10 bit, HDR, everything that the console can do for this particular TV. Now I'm gonna plug in the adapter and see if we get any additional options but the first thing you wanna do is always turn the console off whenever making any kind of changes like this. For the next step, all I did was just plug the emulator at the end of the HDMI cable, and then I plugged it into the back of the television, as you can see right here. Now we're gonna take a look at the screens and see if we see any difference on the menu that we didn't have before. So now we're back into the settings. Let's go back over to where it says TV and display options. What do you know, now I have a new option. You can see right here, before it didn't show a refresh rate and now it does. But before I get into that, let's take a look at the 4K TV details. As you can see, by plugging in this adapter, I lost a lot of different options here so I can no longer do HDR10 or HDR. And uh, again, the limitations with the adapter is taken away from some of the capabilities. So back on the TV options, let's go ahead and press on it where it says refresh rate. And now I have an option that says 120 Hertz. Before that option wasn't even there. The reason is, is that the console can detect when the television is natively 120 Hertz. And since this TV doesn't support 120 Hertz, we're kind of manipulating it. So let's go ahead and press on it. And let's go ahead and press on keep new resolution. Now, one thing that happened here is that we did lose 4K. However, the TV did drop down to 1080p and there's no more options for 1440. So as I do newer videos, I'll have to take a look at this and see if these TVs can support that 1440 that you guys always ask me about. So there you go. As you can see, the emulator does work, but what does it look like side by side, 60 Hertz and 120 Hertz? Well, I put a little piece together for you guys, but I will tell you that I was playing different parts of the game and I just moved around to see if you can see if one is faster than the other. So uh, let's check it out. What do you guys think? Can you tell the difference between one or the other? Now, a lot of people are gonna say the Xbox One S is not a true 4K, and you are correct. However, we're just messing around with the settings and see what we can get out of it. Could you tell the difference between the 4K 60 frames or the 1080p 120 frames? Is it worth buying an adapter like this? Now, the last thing I wanna show you guys is input lags. So here we have just a direct connection from my uh, tester over to the television, and you can see that it's reading between 9.2 to 10 milliseconds. But the question is, when I use this emulator, does the input lag change? And I will tell you that it doesn't whatsoever. 
As you can see here, I'm getting the same type of settings I was whenever this was not connected. And I'm going to unplug it from the television so you can see that there was no tricks or smoking mirrors here. So as you can see, this little adapter does work. I mean, it really emulates the 120 hertz. But if you guys have questions, this is not a sponsored video. Just click on the link in the description and you can ask the manufacturer different questions on the website. But with that being said, if you have a friend that is having this problem, tell them about my video. Also, I want to let you guys know that I have a membership and instead it started off very expensive. I'm starting off at 99 cents per month. And what it does is it helps me pay for this overhead. Additional to that, it will help me bring in new products over time. So if you guys want to support the channel, a buck a month, it's up to you. There's no pressure to do it or don't do it. I'm Tech Steve. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace. Tech Steve.